chosen was where you are where you are chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video yes chosen people let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video yes chosen people make it a point to keep on smiling because it brightens your days up it brightens your face yes no matter what you're going through make it a point to smile as a chosen one right great that is so beautiful you have such a beautiful soul i'm telling you yes you read the title of this video they cannot control you you make them powerless by taking your power back oh yes you call your power back to you your power that went out of you your power that is divine that has went out of you through whatever portal to any person or anything you call all such powers back to you and any power that is not of god that has entered penetrated into your space through whatever portal of yours any power that is not yours you release them back to those that it belongs to and you draw and call all your powers back to you and these made them powerless yes it makes them powerless because your power is pure your power is divine you understand that the only power people have over you or someone have over you is the power that you give them yes the only control people have over you is the control you give to them knowing this you call all your powers back by being so ambitious in life to become successful to be able to foot your own bills and you disconnect from people emotionally you detach yourself as apostle paul said if you have act as if you don't have that is detachment detachment doesn't mean you shouldn't own things you can own something but you don't let the things you own owns you so apostle paul said let those that are married behave as if they have not it means don't attach yourself to any person don't attach yourself to your woman or to your man detach yourself that is the teaching of detachment and anybody that practices detachment can't be controlled because you can only be controlled when you give your emotion you attach it to somebody else or something that is when that thing begins to control you for instance if you attach yourself so much to your car if that car get an accident you are going to be mad you're going to lose yourself because that means so much to you you understand so you only attach yourself to the source 
to infinite intelligence, to the governing intelligence, to God most high, the king of the universe. That is the true source and the pure source you attach yourself to because you understand and know that a river that forgets about its source will soon run dry. You know that God is your only source and you getting out from the way of God will put you into slavery and into bondage. And in that way, your power will belong to something else. But you connect to the source, the creator of all things. And that is how you take your power back and they realizing that they are powerless. If they want to re remain powerful, it's not you that they have to be draining. They should also connect to the source. Yes, you take your power back, not just by remaining emotionally detached but you take your power back because you understand that he who or she who feeds you controls you oh yeah he who or she who feeds you controls you because is the person that is providing for you that will tell you Eat this. Even if you don't like it, you have to eat it. Yes. So you know in this, you become so ambitious that you decide to take responsibility over your life by working so hard so that you'll be able to foot your bills, to make money because you understand that when you make your own money, when you have money, you have control. And you can walk out of situations that are unpleasant to use, of situations that you don't like. If you don't have money, you become a slave. You can walk out of situations you don't like. You have to be in there. But you know that money is power. It gives power. It gives respect. And by so doing, you start to be ambitious in order to become successful. And now that you are becoming successful, some of you, you are successful. You walk out of situations that you don't like. You disconnect from people that are gangs your principles, your beliefs, and values in life. And that makes you powerful. That makes you to take your power back. Because if you cannot care for yourself, provide for yourself, foot your own bills, you are a slave. Yes. So you that is how you take your power back by being successful to become independent and self-reliant to be your own CEO, the boss of your life because you understand that you are the architect of your life. You release forgiveness to those that need it and you have forgiven yourself. That is a way 
of taking your power back because you understand that he who or she who angers you, provokes you, is trying to control you. He who or she who tries to offend you is trying to control you because, because of their misbehavior, you, your temper, will rise and you begin to flame up. You said, no, I'm not going to get angry at this. No, I'm not. I have bypassed this level, this attitude of yours. I'm not going to punish myself for your misconduct, for your misbehavior. No, I'm not holding any grudge with you, any bitterness with you. I have forgiven you. But the fact that I have forgiven you shouldn't mean I should be there again so that you do the worst to me. So you step back, you distance yourself. And you love them from a distance. It's a way of taking your power back. So you have taken your power back. That's it. If people are not feeding you, they can't control you. Yes. And if you don't attach yourself emotionally to people, they can't be controlling your emotion of how your heart should beat. If you pick offense, you see the person, your heart will begin to start to race like never before. If you attach yourself to somebody and you don't take your power back, when you see them, your heart will start to beat so fast. You've given your power out. You're not of yourself. But that is not you. Because you are becoming your true and authentic self. A better version of yourself. You are working on yourself. So, because of that, you've taken your power back. As you keep growing up, you understand that life is more of depending on God. Yes, and you don't worry about anything, bother about anything. You've taken your control, your power back. You don't fight the will of God. Because you know that at the end of the day, it is only the will of God that will prevail. That has made you to take your power back. To not be stressing yourself. To be depressed. No. So, that's it. I'm telling you. They can't control you. Because you know how to make yourself happy. They can't control you because you foot your own bills. They can't control you because you are not emotionally attached to them or to anything. That is what makes you powerful. And people hate this. People hate you becoming a better version of yourself by doing these things. Because they always want to be controlling, 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 controlling. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. And remember to stay in your divine power. This is my prayer for you. Father God, pray this prayer. Pray it yourself. Father God, whatever that has entered into my portal, that is not mine. I release it back. And whatever power divine that is in me,
that has been taken out of me through whatever portal. I call it back and I draw them back to me. That's it. Believe it and so will it be. Stay blessed. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.